handle me Thinking he's a player, he's a member on the team He put in all that work, he wanna be the MVP I told him ain't no taming me, I love my niggas equally Get 9 to 5 niggas with that superstar D The superstar star, now I got him far away I called a jack to get that nigga, I told him call, don't send no text And don't you tell him you with me when they be asking where you at I can't read your mind, gotta say that shit Should I take your love, should I take that? Got a whole lot of options, cause you know a girl's poppin' I'm a high girl, so you know it's shit that's poppin' To be. Who got a lot of D? Who popping like a P when he be hopping out the V? And who gon' tell him that my bitch is getting her degree? And when we say it's hot for summer, we ain't talking about degrees. Who gon' follow me? Like, who don't follow me? Cause even in your new book, I can see a lot of me. And honestly, I'm on it cause that should be comedy. You ain't put me in no brands, but I see you proud of me. I'm just a real, get, get, give a fuck about a trick. I'm some real, and, and, and we really with this shit. Put this bitch on your lip. Give a fuck about the dick. I get that, and then I, I grab my shit, and then I dip. On that brown, now we going both ways. I can't read your mind, gotta say that shit. Should I take your love? Should I take that? I got a whole lot of options, cause you know a girl's hopping. I'm a high girl, so you know it's shit that's hopping. The Kid Craddock Morning Show, featuring the worst butt in the office, Big Al Mac. Okay, don't be so literal, little man. Crazy Mexican JC. Jose Roberto Ángeles Catem López Chávez de Pérez. Southern Belle Kelly Raspberry. There's something about men with tomato plants. And Lady Jenna. I got my mustache waxed, and that's why I'm breaking out. The Kid Craddock Morning Show starts now. In a way. Thursday morning. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, 
2019 and with the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Thank you so, so much for having your radios on with us on them this morning. Here is Kelly Raspberry. Yes, it is I turn to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I was so happy when I got up this morning. I realized I, I didn't have anything scheduled this afternoon. I get uh -huh. home to go home and take a nap. Yep. After my Botox appointment. Oh. Men don't know what that means. What's You're that not mean? supposed to do that. I can't lie down after I get my Botox. What about you what? came back on, on, on the back of your head? You can sit upright. Why not? It's That's not a You nap. don't want it to move around. I might as well just Try to oh, what a, like cancel a, it. Horses st uh, <laughs> sleep standing up. Yeah, Hashtag first world problems. I know. You just convert Kelly to a horse. Yeah, oh, right. I'm just telling yeah, her there's on the brain. <laughs> there's hope. Right, right. <laughs> well, just sleep standing up like a soldier. Yeah, soldiers do it. Yeah, soldiers. I don't know how they do it. But oh, they do it. right. I don't either. I don't. Either. Hey, speaking of soldiers, here's my man, J.C. Chavez. Well, I was not a soldier, but thank you. He's my soldier, dog. Thank you, dog. You know what I mean? Uh man, the mass singer. I, I, that's my favorite show right now. Really? I can't oh, forget I it's it. on. Yeah, it was on last night. And they eliminate a person each episode. So you finally you get to see at least one oh. person get eliminated. First week they eliminated two. This one was, on, uh, unless I missed something, I only saw one get I'll eliminated. I'll it up for you because last week they had 16 characters. Yeah. They did eight last week and sent home two. Yeah. That gamer you like and Johnny Ninja. Manziel. Uh -huh. uh, not Johnny Manziel, uh -oh. Johnny Weir. The ice skater. Oh, they said John E. Weir was one of them. Yeah, I didn't watch last week. I caught in this week. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, they sent uh, they sent home, and I almost got it right because you try to play along and guess with the people. Yeah. And I almost got the one that got sent home right. Yeah, I got Johnny Weir right. The only thing that makes me mad is the the guesses of the judges are so, They're so horrible. They, they go with these A list celebrities that would Queen, never have done it. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So stupid. Is that Christina Aguilera? Uh, no. Yeah, right. She's on your show. Christina Aguilera would not be doing the math finger. She's uh, doing real stuff right, out right, there. Right, right, Here is Jenna. Alexa, next Halloween song. Wow. I got in a fight with my Alexa yesterday. She is not playing good Halloween music for me. Oh, really? It made me realize yesterday I was sitting at home. It was very quiet. I was like doing some work. I went, I want to listen to Halloween music. Mm -hmm. No. She just has children's Halloween music and other Halloween songs that aren't very good. I put on the parental uh, lock on my Alexa. And, yeah. And now when I want to play the songs I want to listen to, it, she says no. <laughs> and I don't know how to change it. I wonder if Jenna just made someone's Alexa play yeah. the next Halloween. Oh, of course she did. Yeah, because I posted some Instagram stories of me yelling at my Alexa and everyone said it was turning their Alexa to Halloween music. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Here's Big Al Mac. Thank you, KC Chavez. Um, I know we're not a news show. No, but this is big. But I have to bring this up. Yeah. This is, a, this is not news. This is humanity. This is... I really haven't been able to think about anything else since I saw this on television yesterday. What I'm talking about is the number one story in the news is the Botham Jean murder trial. It's just concluded here in Dallas. And um, this young man was killed by an ex-Dallas police officer. Well, she was a Dallas police officer at the time. She was yeah. a Dallas police officer at the time. Getting right? off her shift. She mistakenly thought that his apartment, both of John's apartment, was her apartment. And she went in thinking he... I have to explain this because some people don't even know the, sto yeah. know the story. Um, she went in and thought that both of them was an intruder in her apartment. He was just home eating ice cream. And he was home on his couch. He, uh, one minute he's alive watching TV, eating ice cream. The next minute he is right. shot by what he probably thought was an intruder. Right. And so um, she was, um, the trial went on for about a week and a half. She was sentenced to, t found guilty. Of murder. Of murder. Which sent pe divided people. Yes, I did I, not. Yeah. The premeditation mm -hmm. part. Right. I, I really was surprised, as a lot of people were, I think, um, that she was found guilty of murder. I thought it may have been a lesser charge. Anyway. I mean, there were a lot of experts saying she was going to get off, and then people started getting mad. And I right. mean, it was, and we're yeah, saying. They, they were saying she was guilty, but they were thinking it was going to be manslaughter. Right. 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 And, and to add to this, I, I didn't bring this up. Both of them, John was a black man, and the officer was a white lady. Yeah. Right, female, yeah. So, um,. So, she was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 10 years. And um, after the sentencing, they have something called impact statements. Yeah. And yesterday, I'm laying on my couch, and I was kind of falling in and out of sleep. And I woke up. Thank God I woke up because I saw this, and it was so moving. Both of John's little brother um, was uh, giving an impact statement. And this is what that sounded like. Now, hold on. Before you play, I want you to know that 
they had announced that she was uh, she was going to serve ten years. And, and outside, there was people protesting. Right, right. People extremely angry. angry. There's people in the courtroom angry. Her family was angry. People that support. I mean, it, it divided people. It really did. It, this this sentencing literally divided a group of people, and people were extremely upset at each other. People that didn't even know each other. Yeah, it right. brought out probably emotions you didn't know you had. Right. Yeah. And they were the family was hoping for at least twenty eight years because that that's how old he would have been. His birthday, his birthday this past weekend. Now both of bro- both of them's brother is eighteen years old. Yes. Now think back to when you were eighteen or if you're eighteen years old right now, something like this happened to your family and how you would react and would you react the way that his brother did? I don't want to say twice or for the hundredth time, what you've, or how much you've taken from us. I think you know that. But I just, I hope you go to God with all what, all the guilt, all the things, the bad things you may have done in the past, each and every one of us may have done something that we're not supposed to do. If you truly are sorry, I know, I can speak for myself, I, I forgive you. And I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. I don't think anyone could say it. Again, I'm speaking for myself, not even bad for my family. But I love you just like anyone else. And I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see, I, I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't going to ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you. Because I know that's, what, that's exactly what both of them would want you to do. And the best would be give your life to Christ. I'm not going to say anything else. I think giving your life to Christ would be the best thing that both of them would want you to do. Again, I love you as a person. And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can can I give her a hug, please? Please. I was just thinking about it. Yes. They run up to each other. They give the biggest hug ever. And the biggest hug embrace that I there's, have ever seen. They're wailing in the courtroom. People are crying so hard because of this crying. moment. <laughs> the judge is crying. The bail is crying. It, Everybody was. Brant is 18 years old and, and was I, able to forgive his brother's killer and tell her he no. loves her and hug her. I do and not. As Christians, we're, we're, cha- we're that is charged test. to do that, yes. but if I was in that same position, I can't say that I, I would. I, I, I don't know. The, but the strength it took of him to say that oh in front of his God. family, because you know his parents, you know both of his parents are angry, and, yep. and rightfully yes. so. The strength it took for him to say it, in, not only in front of his family, but in front of the whole world, because he knew this was being. Put on camera. Al and I were saying, you don't know the ripple effect of what he did will have overall because people were very angry. People were so and yeah. and angry. And people act out on that anger and it could have had really... He was, we don't know the ultimate ripple effect that his, right. could have been riots. What he did is yeah. going to have. He, he was, you know when there's a fire, a huge fire and they send those planes out and they drop a bunch of water or yeah. whatever? Yeah. He was that plane. Yeah. He, he was, just dropped man. the... He just... Diffused a, a situation that could have been so much worse. If you have not seen that video, please watch it because it is 
It's the most amazing thing I've ever powerful. seen. It was, it was powerful there's, and But there's emotional. power in forgiveness. And there's so much, Kelly. You can apply that to your life when there's someone so has much. wronged you in a really bad way, there's not so taking it to this level. Right. But the anger and the hate that you hang on to that person, it doesn't harm them as much right. as it eats you alive inside. And if you can learn to forgive, and I just, it's, I, it's I, a weight. And honestly, and lifted. And nothing but, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, man. I, I, just, I just have nothing but respect for that young man. And I just, I, 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 I thank him no. for that. And we cannot judge him at all because this is his family. That was his brother. We yeah. are not involved. We are just spectators in this in this scenario. Yeah, it was beautiful. He's the one that it was beautiful. Had the most beautiful words to say it and was, that that is reality TV, right? Brent there. Jean right there with yeah. the with three minutes of love. It was it was it was the most emotional thing I've ever seen. <laughs> All so, right. Yeah, I know if you're waking yeah. up this morning. It's a downer to start. It's, it's, no, you know what? It's, it's, it's not a downer. It's an up, but it's, in a way, it's uplifting. It's a lift. Well, it's a, yeah. If you're having a bad day, if you're waking up and you had an awful day yesterday, and you take a listen to what Brant did and how he overcame the sorrow Absolutely. and the loss of his brother Absolutely. and how he can love somebody yes. despite of the circumstances, then you can go out and have a good day yourself. If he can do it, we can do it. Agreed. 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 Well, we have now got to shift. To celebrity nonsense because that's what we do best. <laughs> Lighten it up a little bit. Kylie Jenner, is she in the wrong for what she wore to Haley and Justin's wedding? I think she's more in the wrong for who she's hanging out with, but we'll get to that as well. And Matthew Knowles is opening up a little bit more about his breast cancer diagnosis. It is October, Breast Cancer yes. Awareness Month. Don't forget, it can happen to men too. We'll talk about it when we come back. Stay tuned for more of the Kid Craddock Morning Show. One oh five point nine. Hey. The monkey. Number one. Number one for new music.
funky traffic. Radio gets results. Visit Gulf Coast Radio Advertising.com now to find out how TeleSouth Media can help your business grow. Find out more about how you can tap into your audience's buying power to increase your sales all without breaking your budget. Visit Gulf Coast Radio Advertising.com now. Traffic looking good for your ride into work and school. So far, we're all clear. No accidents or congestion at this time. If you notice a problem, call me at 228-385-1457. In the Traffic One Traffic Center, I'm Patty Steele. It's finally here. What's here? Football. And football is bigger and better at Big Play. Why? Because it's Big Play's 50 Cent Wings on Monday. A free 40-inch TV giveaway every Sunday night. At Big Play. Axe throwing at Big Play. And the most incredible two-story laser tag experience that you have ever been a part and of. And it doesn't stop there. It only gets bigger and better. With two arcades, bumper cars, mini golf, bowling, a full-service restaurant, go-karts, and all the wings. Weekends action and parents kids eat free every Sunday. So load up the cars and truck, get to big play for this weekend's football games. Food and fun. You can make the weekends bigger and better for the entire family at Big Play. All the games on all the TVs. Plus 50 cent wings on Monday. A free 40-inch TV giveaway yeah. every Sunday night. And now Axe at Big Play. Find out more at BigPlayBiloxi.com. Big Play Entertainment Center. Highway 90 at Veterans Ave in Biloxi. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash deal. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job in ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. ZipRecruiter. The smartest way to hire. And now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash deal. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash deal. ZipRecruiter.com slash deal. Hi, I'm your host, Smokey Cole Bear. Filling in for Smokey, because after 75 years of... Only you can prevent wildfires. Turns out there's much more to say. Nearly 90% of wildfires are caused by us humans being careless. Dumping our used barbecue coals willy-nilly. Guess the song was wrong. We did start the fire. That's why I respect Mother Nature and her trees, whether coniferous or new car scented. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Hey, what's up, Lucas? What are you doing for lunch today? Why don't you celebrate Chicken Salad Chick's one-year anniversary with 105.9 The Monkey. Today, from 11 to 3, we're going to be hanging out at the Promenade in the Aberville. They're going to be giving away free chicken salad for a year to five lucky guests. That's amazing. 100 specialty tumblers for the first 50. To guess at open and again at 5 p.m. and triple the points today for those who use their chicken salad chick mobile app. We'll see you today from 11 to 3. Chicken salad chick made fresh daily, served from the heart. Keith Superstore welcomes fall. Whether you're headed to work, school, or the ball game, we've got you covered with quality gasoline, snacks, ice, and drinks, of course. And while you're gassing up at Keith's, visit our deli for chicken, hot dogs, nachos, cookies, and a good cup of coffee. Shop at Keats and help us give back to our community. Keats Superstore is a small business, and we are here for you. Locations across the coast. Oh, and don't forget, free smiles, too. Keats Superstore. Open calendar. What's my schedule looking like? Next Thursday, you will be caught in an emergency flash flood between Park and First Street. What? No. No, that, that doesn't work. I'm, I'm busy then. Decline. De decline. Floods don't exactly work around your schedule. Disasters don't plan ahead, but you can. It starts with talking to your loved ones about making an emergency plan. So don't wait, communicate. Get started today at ready.gov slash plan. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Products are issued by WebBank. Member FDIC rates and terms vary based on credit history. Amazon is not a sponsor of this promotion. Offer valid for loan products 90 days after today. Other restrictions apply. See website for details. How do I feel? Awesome. 
like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Hundreds of thousands of people are discovering the relief of a fixed rate debt consolidation loan through Avant. I paid off all my credit cards and now I just have one easy monthly payment with Avant and I don't have to worry about the rates going up. Avant offers you access to unsecured debt consolidation loans from $2,000 to $35,000. When I saw Avant was accredited by the Better Business Bureau, I knew that was the company for me. Do you know how good it feels to only worry about one monthly payment? Experience the relief of a debt consolidation loan through Avant. Plus, get a free $50 Amazon gift card after your first payment is made on time. To check your loan options and get this free offer, go to Avant.com and enter code 7575 when applying. Avant.com, code 7575. That's Avant.com, code 7575. A show that features the world's best parents. It's the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Happy Thursday, Kid Nation. Hey. So a new Netflix show is going to drop on Friday, tomorrow. It's called Raising Dion, about a kid with like superpowers. Yeah. It looks really good. Michael B. Jordan is a producer in that mm -hmm. and also stars in it. Uh, we're going to have the two stars of the show, the two main stars, Jason Ritter and Alicia Wainwright in studio with us yeah. this morning and chat with them about the show and about their experiences and what's up with them. We'll also get into some first world problems in about an hour and 20 minutes. But one hour from now, you could win $5,000. We already gave some away yesterday. Yep, gave away $5,000 yesterday. So far, we've given away $15,000. We'd like to make that an even 20 this morning with Beat the Bank. ATM. ATM. New numbers, by the way, since we did give away the, the money yesterday. And if you didn't hear it, here it is. One, two, eight, nine. Those are the numbers you are working with. So we'll have you call in here in about an hour. Okay. And uh, Anna, what are uh, who's celebrating a birthday today? Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of Netflix, today is Noah Schnapp's birthday. He plays Will Byers on Stranger Things. Yeah, Will? Yeah, Will. He's 15 today. Wow. Which is crazy. Like, Can't I feel drive. like... There's, that's still so young. Learner's <laughs> permit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Stranger Things uh, did just get renewed for season four, so that's very exciting. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're not in Hawkins anymore. Ooh. Um, happy birthday, ASAP Rocky. Love it. Oh, He's 31 He's great today. skin. He's a beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> smell good. Great skin. I wish I could have his, his smile. If good I could get teeth. his smile, yeah, I want that smile. Yeah, he just is pretty. Yeah. You're a pretty man. Yeah. Um, happy birthday, Kevin Richardson from the Backstreet Boys. He's the oldest Backstreet Boy. Is he mm -hmm. your fire? No, Howie D is uh, my fire. Is he your one desire? <laughs> well, he and Howie D. Oh, okay. <laughs> and happy birthday, How old is Kevin. Oh, 48. Yeah. Wow. Get up there. He was the oldest the one. Backstreet man. Before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. And happy birthday, Gwen Stefani. Yes. She is 50 today. Big five. Oh, oh wow. That's a. How does that woman. You get proposed to on. You think? Is it? It's a big deal. Do you think they already are? You got to probably and They're hiding probably it. Probably engaged. Mm -hmm. But I think I would like to do that. If you're that famous, you'd want it for yourself for a little bit, and it just yeah. sucks that you wouldn't be able to wear a ring and celebrate it like that. He's got to do something big. Well, they're filming right now, so they can't do anything really big right now. We could. You could do whatever. You could but do it you know, on I national television. Show off the ring too, though. Yeah, girls like show that. it off. Yeah, I feel like Blake would slip. Uh huh. He'd refer oh. to her as his. Fiance at some yeah, point. No, yeah, yeah. I think they know that's where they're going. They're just not yeah. officially engaged. That's what I think. That's mm -hmm. what you think? I think. Well, what do you think? I would love to see them together. She was, I, when I was up there well, they are. Um, a couple months ago, <laughs> I said, so what are you guys planning on Blake's, planning to do for Bur uh, Blake's birthday? She goes, Blake's birthday? I'm turning the big 5-0 this year. I mean, she's half proud of it. And yeah. she looks marvelous. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, and, she still looks like she's like in her 30s. Yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. Looking good. But I guess for now, uh, he's just her boyfriend because today's National Boyfriend Day. Oh, is it? How cute. Good I one. got one of those. Are you going to celebrate? Uh, yeah. No, no, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, you buy your boyfriend a present today, ladies. your boyfriend. It can change your relationship. Keep dating your yeah. husbands and wives if you're uh, uh, yeah. married, you know. Yeah. Keep dating. Treat them like a boyfriend or girlfriend. We had a date yesterday at 4.45. We showed up to a restaurant. They weren't open yet. <laughs> So we had to go somewhere and have a drink because that's when we want to have a We showed up to this place. It's kind of a date place for us. And we pulled up and there was no one there. And I'm like, oh, gosh, it's 430. It was 415. They don't open until 5. Love uh, it. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the gossip. What's up, Kelly? Well, Gwyneth Paltrow just celebrated one year of marriage to Brad Falchuk. But her husband just moved in to her place about a month and a half ago. They kept separate residences for a while. Hey. <laughs> Who worked for them. Right. Well, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, she was on Jimmy Kimmel, and she said it was all for the kids. 
I think really because we have, we each have two teenage children whom we love very much, but oh. we were just trying to be mindful and give them a little space and not move too quickly. And I see. So you did then merge like the Brady Bunch, but with less. Uh, yes, less, yeah. less merging and more originally, but now we're merged and You're it's, merged and it's now. great. And did he get to keep any of his stuff or is it all your stuff? Because <laughs> I would imagine your stuff is better than his stuff or anyone's stuff, really. No, not anyone. Well, uh, yeah, there's, he got to keep some of his stuff. He did? Oh, that's not... He actually is really, he's, he's, he's good taste. He's oh, he got does. really nice clothes and we put some chairs from his house in there. <laughs> chairs? Buy a bigger house. Your kids are on this side, my kids are on this side. <laughs> Rich people problem. Right, right. Beyonce's father is Matthew Knowles, and he was recently diagnosed with breast cancer. And since it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, he was on Good Morning America yesterday sharing his story. What I want to share, Michael, is that I also am a survivor of breast cancer. Just two months ago, Knowles noticed a small recurring dot of blood on his shirt. And then I told my wife, and she says, you know what, I saw a dot of blood on the sheets. So I immediately went to my doctor, I got a mammogram, and then it was very clear that I had breast cancer. The first call was to my family. Mm -hmm. That was the very first call, because this is genetics. It also means that my kids have a higher chance, a higher risk. Even my grandkids have a, a, a higher risk. And they handle it like they should. They went and got the test. Wow. Yeah. W but where did the blood come from? His nipple was probably... Yeah. So it comes bleeding. from... Wow. Yeah. Man. With women, you look for any unusual, like, discharge or things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've never heard it being blood, but... Because you could have thought, oh, I might have had a zit and it popped in the middle of the night right. and just a little dot of blood. Recurring. Right. But it kept happening. Wow. Hey, this is the month, ladies, if you haven't Get done it. Checked it checked out, man. And something that men aren't encouraged to do. Yeah. But Gentlemen, too, I guess. You have something yeah. odd happening. Anywhere on your body. Anywhere on your body. You need to get that checked. We've got to be more self-aware. Even my dentist was checking my mouth. Yeah, my, cancer. Doing the, de oral the, cancer. Yeah, the oral cancer screen. Stick your tongue out. Stick it to the left. Stick uh -huh. it to the right. Went all up in my gums and stuff. It was cool. Yeah. Are Justin and Haley Bieber cute or obnoxious? <laughs> cute. So Justin posted a video of Haley trying to kiss him on his Instagram. Go inside. Get off of me. Get off of me. We're married now. No more love now that we're married. Married now. That's what happens. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm married now. I'm married now. Hey. That's cute. Uh, why is Justin he spit in a cup and he found out he's British. Yeah, why is he copying my accent that I go uh, into sometimes? Married now. Married now. Yeah, that's cute. Holly, <laughs> I was like, Wish I was married. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie Jenner was one of the guests at Haley and Justin's wedding, getting a little backlash for what she wore. Now, obviously, the ladies were told to dress elegantly because everybody was wearing long, sparkly dresses, but hers, man. The she leg was out. Fierce. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. it was like, what would you say? Like a goldish, yellow, yeah. mustardy colored gown cut up to here. It was a beautiful dress. Cut out in the center right was <laughs> she in danger of up upstaging the bride with what she chose yes she was pushing that limit but come on when you invite kylie jenner what do you expect yeah, yeah, you're right, getting that right, exactly so anyway a lot of people are saying she broke wedding, wedding protocol by wearing such an outfit wendy williams thinks it's fine that kylie did upstage the bride excuse me if you're inviting a Kardashian Jenner to anything that you have, exactly. you've got to understand how they are coming through. Okay. Yeah. All I'm saying is, hell yeah, she upstaged the bride. <laughs> but you invited Kylie. And Kylie's a part of a brand that sexification of the situation is always there. Yeah. Kylie, you look gorgeous. Haley, get over it. You're still beautiful in your own right. What? Yeah, what are you going at Haley the, only for? The, the only people complaining are people that weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> Any of that group of friends, all those well, girls, they... You know, sources say yeah. that Haley was mad. That's <laughs> obviously what she's going right? I was so happy when I got married that I had a celebrity show up at my wedding, right? Emmett Smith. I was, I was his limo driver. 
And so I invited him. Not, not really. Oh, were you anything. driving him somewhere and made him go by the <laughs> wedding or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was just driving. Oh, hey, man, can we stop real quick? Yeah. I'm getting married. Yeah, you're married, so bro. I, actually, I gave him an invitation. I really didn't expect him to show up, but we're like giving our vows, and he showed up late. Yeah, no, I'm not talking to me. But he showed up. Everybody turned around because it's Emmett Smith. He had on that his, made you feel cool, though. It made me feel really cool. It was awesome that he showed up, and, and everybody looked, turned around, and from then on, and this was at the height of his Emmett Smithness. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was re very, very Emmett Smith. That's so cool. Yeah. And everybody turned around and started looking at him, and nobody was looking at us anymore. It was kind of funny. But, All your wedding pictures are Emmett Smith. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it. I was like, they're yeah. like. Uh, do you take her? I'm like, what? What would you say? I'm looking at Emmett Smith back here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is really cool. And he does remember Al every time I, oh, I see oh, him. Oh, yeah. I've known him for years. Yeah. Every time I see him, I go, hey, I'm, I work with Big Al. And he goes, mm. you don't need to tell me that every time. <laughs> 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 All right, but Kylie Jenner, she's been, uh, she was in the news yesterday. She, Speaking uh, of this, I've heard that their breakup, Kylie and Travis, sources say, Kelly. Yes, the <laughs> sources. It's a PR stunt, which would make sense because... Travis Scott's dropping a new album tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it is kind of tasteless that Kylie takes a Rolls Royce to Tyga's recording studio. Isn't her it? Ex. Oh, that would make it seems so obvious, right? Very blatant. That would yeah. be not now, happy. could it be a PR stunt or she's trying to make him mad because she's mad at him? That's it right you there. Could that. Be yeah, both. you run back to the ex-boyfriend and make him mad. And then people are making memes on social media now saying that uh, Stormy looks too much like Tyga now. No. Oh, yeah, so now they're bringing, no. the, they're bringing the baby in. Don't bring the baby in. Don't bring the baby in. Well, who knows exactly what's going on. I'm sure time will tell, you know, stories or Kylie's. The Kardashians have, Jenner's have really good PR. So you notice when you go to tabloid websites like we do this morning before we do this segment, she's at the top. And that's because her PR team is issuing a statement saying Kylie just fell out of love and it's amicable and she's fine. That's her team saying that. So we don't know exactly what happened, but they're just sharing Stormy. Fitty fitty for well, now. You know, at uh, Sophia Ritchie, she's now been brought into the Keeping Up with the Kardashians fold. She was finally brought on the TV show. And back in August at her 21st birthday party, remember everybody was mm. saying that Kylie and Tyga were both at that party. That was in August. What if, just speculating, we have no idea that it stirred up feelings for Kylie? Mm. Maybe that's what led to this. Mm. That is his. But music first, right? You watch his documentary, you see he's really talented. Yeah. You can see, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not enough attention for her, mm -hmm. right? Because he is, he is so committed to his artistry. I don't know. Tyga, I just remember Kylie was paying for everything for Tyga. She didn't become a billionaire until she got rid of Tyga. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> You know, yeah. but the chances of Tyga cheating on her are, are lower than Travis Scott from the rumors we hear. Is it why? Then? I just think Tyga was a little whipped. Hmm. Oh. I thought that's why they broke up, though, right? You what? I thought that's why they broke up. Tyga was cheating? Yeah. Hmm. I, I, I remember there was a girl that was like a Kylie lookalike uh -huh. who was photographed with her Oh, after. you're right. I can't that remember. That was after. It was after, but what, was it really before and we didn't know about right, it? Right, right, right. Who knows? Because now we were talking about how uh, Travis Scott had to leave his tour because he got almost caught caught. Yeah. He got caught half Second caught. Back in March. Yeah. And they smoothed yeah. that over. Run into Tyga in August. Uh -huh. Interesting Just timing. Just Very interesting. She's a billionaire and still gets cheated on. There you go. What, right? right? <laughs> Jeez. And she's beautiful. Yeah. And she's beautiful. It ain't all about that. And she nope. seems like she's a pretty cool person. She seems really nice. She does. Funny. Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't know, Kelly. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to talk about more celebrity nonsense. Spider-Man help save Spider-Man? How does that work? And Mary Bieber dropping a new song tomorrow after a pretty long hiatus. And we're going to tell you what we know next. And to think, you could have watched everything we just did there on KidTV.com. If you haven't checked it out yet, you probably should. The Kid Craddock Morning Show. Hi, I'm Lizzo. You're hearing Lizzo Truth Hurts. Truth Hurts me. You know you're listening to 105.9 The Monkey. Why well, men great, so they gotta be great. Woo. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% dead. Even when I'm crying crazy, yeah, I got boy problems as the human in me. Bling, bling, then I saw them, that's the goddess in me. You
got Hey, I'm glad you're back with your I mean, who would wanna hide this? I will never, ever, 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 ever be your side chick I put the sing in single Ain't worried about a ring on my finger So you can tell your friend Shoot your shot when you see him It's okay, he already in my DMs In a minute, yeah, yeah. I don't play tag, stop in it. We don't f with lies, we don't do goodbyes. We just keep it pushing like aye, aye, aye. I'ma hit you back in a minute. Visit Gulf Coast Radio Advertising.com now to find out how TeleSouth Media can help your business grow. Find out more about how you can tap into your audience's buying power to increase your sales all without breaking your budget. Visit Gulf Coast Radio Advertising.com now. Traffic looking good for your ride into work and school. So far, we're all clear. No accidents or congestion at this time. If you notice a problem, call me at 228-385-1457. In the Traffic One Traffic Center, I'm Patty Steele. It's Dollar Days at Crunch Fitness. With over 300 locations and growing fast, you can join now for just $1 down and $9.95 a month. That's right. You can join Crunch Fitness for only $1 down and $9.95 a month with no long-term commitment. Crunch is an adult playground to help escape from your busy lives. From our state-of-the-art equipment and free weights to our awesome new group fitness classes featuring Zumba, Wed TRX, Belly Butts and Thighs, Absolutions and many more. Or break a sweat in the all new Hit Zone featuring small group training where we make serious fitness fun. With two convenient locations, there's always fun near you. And now join Crunch for only $1 down and $9.95 a month. So stop by at our Diaberville location or our newest location in Long Beach and join Crunch for only $1 down and $9.95 a month. So don't miss the party and hurry. These specials end October 28th. So stop Stop by or join online at crunch.com. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, Protect My Car is announcing a low-cost extended service plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay nothing for auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay nothing for auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-953-7194 now. Drivers who are covered by Protect My Car will not have to pay for a covered repair bill again. This auto coverage is at an all-time low, much lower than what dealerships are charging. Additionally, drivers who activate this auto coverage today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and free car rental at no additional cost. Call Protect My Car for your free quick quote today. 800-953-7194. 800-953-7194. What do you have to lose? Again, 800-953-7194. Hey, want to come work for the number one radio group on the coast? TeleSouth Media has a great opportunity for an outside sales consultant. Get paid while having fun and work in the exciting, fast-paced world of radio. We have award-winning stations like 105.9 The Monkey, 97.9 CPR Rocks, G96.7, Super Talk 103.1, and 103.5 The Possum. Take the first step towards a new and rewarding career. Submit your resume to Ricky at TeleSouth.com. TeleSouth Media is an equal employment opportunity employer. Standing up for what's right. Helping out when things go wrong. Raising our voices alone or together. Seeking the truth and speaking our minds. 
not just making records, but breaking them. Fighting for victory on the battlefield and on the playing field. Seeing the world through new eyes and the earth from miles above. Redefining beauty, brains, and what it really means to be queen. Making ourselves heard on stage and on screen. Showing the way in Silicon Valley and showing up for others wherever help is needed most. Not just making our mark, but making a difference. Now that's a job for a Girl Scout. Girl Scouts, preparing girls for a lifetime of leadership. To protect his home and family from disaster, Steve used courage, wisdom, and his camera phone. That should do it. Way to go, Steve! By simply taking digital pictures of his family's important documents, Steve can always have them stored safely online, no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Imagine being fired because of who you love. Imagine being denied medical treatment because of who you marry. Imagine being evicted because of who you are. Millions of Americans don't have to imagine this. They have to live it. Because in 30 states, it's legal to discriminate against LGBT people. Get the facts at beyondido.org. Brought to you by the Gill Foundation and the Ad Council. Hi, it's Olivia Munn with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance, reminding you that when you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the Humane Society of the United States, and Maddie Spug. Now, at first, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, but it's actually a bird running around with this insurance expert guy named Doug, telling everybody that Liberty Mutual customizes your auto insurance so you only pay for what you need. Now, I thought it was pretty hilarious when they're running in slow-mo like an old-school action movie. That alone made me want to get a quote with Liberty Mutual. Get yourself a customized quote from Liberty Mutual today. This message is brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Visit LibertyMutual.com to learn more. State requirements and policy terms apply. How do you explain the joy of getting any size soft drink for just a buck from McDonald's? Well, it's like... Ah. <laughs> One, two, three! <laughs> ah. Yeah, like that. Get $1 any size soft drink from McDonald's. Joy included. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Can I be combined with any other offer or combo meal? It's JC, Jenna, Big Al Mac, and Kelly Raspberry. I love you all, except for the ones that are mean to me. The Kid Craddock Morning Show. We are about 40 minutes away from your first chance to win $5,000 this morning with Beat the Bank ATM. ATM. Brand new, uh... Pin code, by the way. We did give away the five thousand dollars yesterday. So one, two, eight, nine. Those are the numbers you are working with. We already had two guesses yesterday because we gave away the five thousand early. So you have plenty to work with, Kid Nation. Hopefully you get lucky. We also have first world problems coming up in one hour. And in about twenty minutes, new show on Netflix dropping tomorrow. It's called Raising Dion. A little kid with superpowers and parents don't know or his mom doesn't know how to handle him because dad's gone. Uh, Alicia Wainwright and Jason Ritter, the two stars of the show, they're going to be joining us in studio, and we'll get to chat Howdy. with them about that. How do you alert? And there's a connection. Jason? No. <laughs> with, Alicia. And there's a con there's a connection with uh, with our charity mm -hmm. and this show with a, with a kid's kid. So we'll get into that with them and ask them what's going on, because it's really cool news when you see yep. one of our little family members going out and doing big things. And speaking of celebrities, I'm sure we're going to be talking about her eventually, because she's going to be a huge celebrity based on this show. What's going on out there with the, celeb with the celeb gossip? Okay, so Gigi Hadid was not having it. This girl got up on the catwalk at the Chanel fashion show. All these models are walking down the runway, and a bunch just walked right past this girl. She's a YouTube star or wannabe, and I mean, she's getting her name out there, which I think was her whole intention. Uh, Gigi Hadid wasn't having it, though. Gigi stopped her walk, stared at the girl. They kind of had this, like, stare down, stand off. The yeah. girl's doing that awkward... Like what any girl that's not a model would do and putting her hand up by her head, yeah. posing for the crowd. She's She looks like a girl that constantly says, Woo! <laughs> and Francais. And Francais. She at least was styled Chanel-ish. Probably knockoff Chanel. Right. 
But I mean, bold move to do it a Chanel fashion show. Yeah. Anyway, Gigi, Gigi was calm, but Gigi escorted her off the stage, and this girl's now speaking out. Uh, this girl's name is Marie Benoliel, I suppose. She clearly did not understand my comic approach. Gigi's sublime and a fashion icon, and I understand her reaction somewhat and continue to love her in spite of that. Marie <laughs> says what she did was a tribute to Chanel. No. no. She says no, no. what she tries to do is an exhaustive satire about our society. I'm, I immerse myself in public events or situations to show how funny some situations and sometimes extreme behaviors are. I'm not making fun of people. I'm pointing out how silly some people can be when they lack distance and thinking. I don't know. Maybe her French to English isn't working well. She crashed another runway show last week. She says she's inspired by Sasha Baron Cohen. I think the problem is it's just so... It's disrespectful and it's scary now in Very the world scary. that we live mm -hmm. in. That some, when someone rushes a stage, she like that. seems harmless, right? As a girl, you don't up, know but, who's but, just right. because it's a girl, especially just those models, because they're so exposed and they're not protected and they're walking that stage, and someone jumps up. No. Just how, how they kept their composure as the they, that just blows my mind that the models were just kept going, kept going. They didn't freak out. They didn't get a. Fr they just kept going, and they said, "Hopefully, security will take care of it." Nobody jumped in. Because we've seen other instances. I just vividly remember when the man, a Britney Spears fan, right? Remember when he jumped up on stage yep. and she about because you turn around and that person's not supposed to be there. And she and lost she freaked it. Freaked out. And he got tackled. I mean, That's security was there. Where was security here? That's the right. thing. Is when your model has going to change everything, everything for the Paris run sh and other runway shows. Gigi Hadid had to be security. That's not okay. The more I learn about Gigi Hadid, what? the fact that she sticks up for herself and doesn't take oh, anybody. Makes you like she's her. so young. I love her. Oh, she's cool. I she's still with her. Tyler C? Hopefully. I think so. He just bought his first apartment. I saw in that. City. How are you feeling about Tyler C's uh, new hairdo? I'm not loving the hairdo, <laughs> but, you know, it's, is it different? Yeah, it's like uh, parted in the middle. He's parted kind of, in the middle? It's like the anti cute haircut. Yeah. Like the. I don't know. But he he's pulling it off, okay. Well, if anybody can, he can, right, JC? Of course. Tyler, she can do you no wrong. me on that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So last week, Disney and Sony worked out their deal to keep Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe after the financial negotiations fell through originally. Spider-Man will continue to be in the Marvel movies, and Marvel will produce a third Spider-Man for Sony that stars Tom Holland. It will open in July of 2021. Now, a source is Tom is a huge reason that this deal worked out. He went around producers and started his own conversations with the heads of both studios after they both said, can't do it, We're, I'm not budging, well, I'm not budging. Tom Holland's like, look, guys, I need a little nice little Tom That's Holland a lot of way. money on the line here, fellas. Yeah, so they said they, that he didn't just use his clout as the star of the Spider-Man franchise. He's also starring in a new Pixar movie for Disney called Onward and also a movie for Sony called Uncharted. So he's got loyalty to both sides. Mm -hmm. But eventually, he was able to get the negotiations going again. And ultimately, the deal was made. Good, because they left us super hanging on the last one. I didn't see the last oh, one. Oh, you haven't? Oh, uh -oh. they have super hanging. Mm -hmm. Where you're like, uh, what happens next? I'm not hanging. You weren't left hanging? I, I feel okay. Oh, no. About I was... everything. <laughs> I need yeah. to see what's up. I'm hanging with you. Are you? Oh, Anna, okay, good. I need to see. I'm including that one. Like, you can't just leave it like that. Uh -uh, mm -mm. Me too. I gotta, I gotta see um, that movie I wrote down earlier this week. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> check, you gotta check it out this weekend. And I gotta watch Top Gun. I've gotta watch Grease again because my husband's never seen Grease. Oh, wow. I oh, know. That'd be a good Halloween for y'all. He's never seen it. Mm. You could be a Sandy. Yeah, be Sandy. Danny and Sandy. Oh, yeah. Act that bad boy out. I'd like to see act that, that bad boy out. <laughs> well,. Look, you know, a little serious story from Tyler Perry. We spoke only because it really relates to what we spoke about this morning, Alan. Uh -huh. This, you know, trial that just went down in Dallas with this police officer that, you know, most think accidentally killed uh, a man. And, uh, you know, his uh, brother got up and talked about how he's forgiven him. Forgiveness, yeah. And it's a really powerful uh, video if you haven't seen it. But Tyler Perry has been speaking about his traumatic childhood and his forgiveness. You know, he was... Abuse. If you don't know his story, it's really impressive. I mean, he's gone on to be phenomenally successful, but he was abused by three men and one woman before he turned 10. He's spoken about this before. He said his father, Emmett, was a physically abusive drunk. His father um, once, you know, beat him so hard with the cord of a vac vacuum that he said he lost skin off his back. Dang. In a new interview, he said that, I don't think I ever felt safe or protected as a child. 
His mother tried to leave Emmett, but Tyler said he had a job and he was a provider and it was very hard for her to leave that. When Tyler was 41 years old, uh, he found out that Emmett was actually not even his real father. The man that raised him as his father and abused him was not his real father. Wow. Tyler says he's since forgiven him and even financially supports him. Mm. They're not close. He said it took a tremendous amount of prayer, but the biggest thing that helped me understand it is that holding on to what I was holding on to wasn't hurting him. It was killing me. Mm -hmm. yeah. He forgave him. He said he felt a burden lift. He says, I'm telling you, the shift in forgiveness in me left me raw because it was a weight inside. Once I let it go, I literally felt lighter inside. I chose to be as positive and inspirational as I can because I don't ever want to feel that again. The power wow. of forgiveness. We were talking Tanya. about it earlier. Yeah, yeah with uh, both of them's brother, Brent. Mm. He's going, and, and you're going to see that video. If you haven't seen it or heard it today, you're going to see that video. It's everywhere of him forgiving uh, his brother's killer. That's awesome. Yep. And it's a process. You can't just it make is. up your mind yeah. one day that that's it. You got to go through it. Look how long it took me to forgive Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Years. And Years. all she did was throw a tantrum at one yeah. of the concerts. What yeah. even a tantrum directed toward me personally? But it was there. Thing. But yeah, it was, yeah. I was in the room and I Great felt analogy. it. Great analogy. You are a fabulous human being, Big Thank Al. you. Thank you. <laughs> you and Brant. Should just inspirational. Yeah. <laughs> Go on a tour. <laughs> All right, it's been a very big week for Justin Bieber. Starts off Monday getting married. You know, he's already legally married, but had the big wedding that they really wanted, the celebration. And the end of the week he's dropping a new song with Dan and Shay. Oh really? Yes. What's that song? Speechless. Speechless. <laughs> yeah. That's a kid that have to kill it too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Speechless. Oh, yeah, when I think of you something. Speechless. Yes. All right. <laughs> this new song is, song is called 10,000 Hours. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's the same tune. Well, That's yesterday, all right. Justin posted a teaser video of a desert. And then what looks like a movie screen showing their names and an image of a flower. And Justin's caption said, new music, wedding music. So I'm wondering if they mm -hmm. actually had it playing at their wedding. And maybe oh. they'll incorporate some wedding. Maybe that's a way of sharing some of his wedding footage with us. We'll mm -hmm. see. Oh, we don't know for sure. Yep. But Justin did co-write the song with Dan and Shay. There was a bunch of names on the co-writing credits. But they share um, Scooter Braun as the, the management. So that's their connection there. Scooter put his, Justin's wedding. Scooter put his like, contact up on uh, his Instagram, which makes me feel like it's a fake number. I wrote it down just in case, though. <laughs> Call it. Well, I have so glad where he's been doing that lately. Like, yeah, did he just did it? Did he's all lonely? He gave out a cell phone number to 15 million followers. Should we call Scooter's number well, that he put up? There's a lot of, there's like a lot of people doing this, a lot of celebrities. They say it's an information grab. They're trying to get oh, databases. Data. Yeah, yeah, I'm like sure. That. Oh. It's not about them wanting to speak with you and you connect. Then they're going to sell your data and yeah. for a ton of money if you have mm -hmm. 15 million people's data. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I so uh, call him if you want, JC, but it's not. I'll call him from our landline. You always got to look at that <laughs> stuff with a side eye. Nah, yeah, that's what I was doing. He don't want to talk to me. Yeah, he's not passing no. it out. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, well, one quick light story because we all love Girl Scout cookies. The Ooh, Food Network is in production on a new competition show called the Girl Scout Cookie Championship where professional bakers are challenged to turn Girl Scout cookies into new desserts. Huh? going to premiere in January, just in time for that New Year's resolution. Oh, and whoever's boy. doing marketing for Girl Scouts needs a raise. <laughs> right? Or a badge. Because they, they are, <laughs> Like a really nice you know, badge. Like a a new it. badge. Yeah. <laughs> that brand could have just died. Now they make Girl Scout cereal. Uh-huh. Girl Scout ice cream. You know, they just, the Girl Scout flavor ice cream. It's not that. Girl Scout flavor. Girl Scout cookie flavor. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit like a seven-year-old. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't say that. Can you imagine if Al or I would have said that joke? <laughs> this is a brownie. Oh, <laughs> salty. <laughs> I, I will say, I went, I don't know. Did you, <laughs> did you, were you a Girl Scout? Yeah. I was not. I put my daughter in. She went to a school where they made it real convenient to be a Girl Scout because you just left them at school for an extra hour. I'm like, right. yes, this is perfect. It's like, uh -huh. And it was this woman who was so passionate about the program because she grew up in the Girl Scouts and she was awesome. And she didn't have any children of her own. But then we got away from that and it's like, oh, I've got to drive her to meetings and do <laughs> stuff. Kelly, and I like, went to, a lot. my mom enrolled me in Girl Scout camp. So I went to something called Camp Butterworth. 
Oh, and everyone yeah, now I, thinks I went to a fat camp. No, it was <laughs> called Camp Butterworth. Mm-hmm. And that first morning, they put a little box of Frosted Flakes out on a kickboard. And that was like our swimming challenge. We had to swim for breakfast, <laughs> one of those tiny boxes. And I was like, I'm good. I'm not doing it. I was so mad the whole time. I just, I hated it. I hated the Girl Scouts. I was like, I thought camp was supposed to be like with boys and you built fires. Uh-huh. And this. spray the bottle. Yeah, like fun stuff. I hated it. I snuck into the nurse's office and I was like, Mom, I'm sick. You got to come get me. And she left me there. I was furious. But you lost weight, didn't you? <laughs> Which was ultimately the point of camp for the work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just told me it was Girl Scout camp, right. but it was a weight loss camp. Right. Like Jenna's getting a little pudgy. <laughs> <laughs> we need to call Candy and ask her. We should. We should find out if that was that. <laughs> I didn't eat the whole week. Well, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, they're making you work for breakfast. You have to swim for your breakfast. Oh my. All right, Kid Nation. <laughs> We'll catch up with the rest of the celebrity gossip here in about an hour with the Showbiz Top 5. But coming up next, we're going to talk to some celebrities. They're uh, stars of the new Netflix show, Raising Dion. It's going to drop on Netflix tomorrow, so you can uh, binge watch it all weekend long. Jason Ritter and Alicia Wainwright join us in studio next. Another member of Kid Nation beat the bank. Christina, hello. Hi. Just by guessing the ATM pin number. Oh, God. Dear Jesus. Five, four, six, three. Don't do it. Don't be in your pants. Don't be in your pants. Listen to play every weekday at 720 and 820 Central. I won $5,000. Beat the bank. ATM. Only on the 